everyone today we are going to extract dna from banana the requirements are clear glass and beakers common salt beakers, banana glass rod spatula needle distilled water shampoo tea net rubbing alcohol that should be ice cool and a ziploc plastic bag now how to do the extraction first we have to remove the peel of the banana after removing the peel we have to put it inside the ziploc plastic bag and then we have to seal it and now we have to smash the banana we are doing the smashing because this will break the plant matter now we have to take a clear glass and we have to add 2 teaspoon of common salt using this spatula is this first spoon this is the second teaspoon first now after adding the salt we have to take the distilled water now we have to pour the distilled water half cup it's almost the half cup now we have to stir the solution very gently now the solution we have is the salt solution now we will add 2 ml of shampoo that we use in the house now that's 2 ml of shampoo now we have to stir it well and we have to make sure that no bubbles should be there the salt we had added will later help the dna to stick together now we have to add this solution to the ziploc plastic bag of squeezed up fruit we have to add enough so that we have a nice mixture that we can put, uh, see through it that's probably about 1/3 of a cup of soap solution now now flatten out the plastic bag to remove most of the air and then seal it up gently squish the liquid around let the mixture sit for 10 to 20 minutes to give the detergent time to release a lot of dna this is the banana smash after 20 minutes so the next step is to filter the banana smash so we will do it with the help of tinnet we will place the tinnet on the beaker and then we are going to pour this whole banana smash into it now we will gently squeeze the banana smash to get a liquid now we will place the tea net aside and we will take rubbing alcohol which is ice cold so we will add the alcohol as much amount that the liquid is present here so we will left it for 3 to 4 minutes so as you can see there are two layers the layer at the upper surface is actually the alcohol in which the dna is mixed and the layer which is settled at the bottom is the juice of the banana mash
Now we have our DNA extracted and it is submerged in the distilled water. So now we are going to add this in our DPA solution. Here we have taken 10, uh, 8 ml of glacial acidic acid with 0.2 ml of H2SO4 and 100 mg of DPA, DPS powder. We are adding the DNA here. After it, we will place this uh, test tube in the water bath. It is on 100 degrees Celsius. That means the water is boiling here. So we are going to add this here. We will gently place it and we will close it and we will wait for 15 minutes. Now after 15 minutes we are going to see what it had happened. Oh it's too hot. Yes, we had DNA. The DPA we had added has turned into blue color, dark blue. So hence proved that the DNA we had was the DNA. Thank you.